Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, author of Twitter in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tame notifications on your Twitter mobile app. And this is the mobile app for iOS, so an iPhone or an iPad. And the issue that a lot of people have with notifications is you'll start to see them on your lock screen and as a little app badge icon. They're very distracting and sometimes they're not really that important. I mean, if someone calls me on the phone, I'd like to be notified of that, but someone mentioning me on Twitter, it's not a big deal. And of course, you can just go into the Twitter app and look at the notification that will remove it from your badge icon or from your lock screen. But what if you want to stop them altogether? And this is how to do it. Go to the Twitter app on your phone and tap the icon. Okay, at the bottom of the screen, we can see that there is a notification for a new notification. I know what it is. It's uh, somebody mentioned me. But I want to stop these notifications from appearing on my badge icon and my lock screen. So tap the me icon, this is the silhouette lower right corner, and then go to the gear icon near the top of the screen, near the photos, and the first option will be settings. Tap that. So you will see something called notifications here as one of the options. Tap it. And there's a couple of options here, but not that many. Uh, the first one is only people you follow. So if you toggle that on and off, that means you'll only see notifications from people you're following. You will not see notifications from strangers. That's not the issue that I have, and neither is the quality filter. Rather, it's push notifications. That is notifications that's twi that Twitter is pushing to me, and they show up on my badge app icon, as well as the lock screen, and sometimes play a sound. So tap that, push notifications. And you'll see that in order to change it, you do not control it within the Twitter app. You actually have to go to the iOS settings app to change it in the notifications area. So conveniently now, you can actually just tap the uh, go to iOS settings. But if you can't do it, go back to your home screen and then just tap the settings icon for your iPhone or for your iPad. So I'm going to tap this button right here. Go to iOS settings. And here we go. Here are the settings for Twitter. The fourth option is notifications, and it says badges. So if I look in that, first of all, there's a an, an, uh, toggle at the top that says allow notifications. I can just turn everything off right now if I want to by just toggling it. That means I won't get any Twitter notifications showing up on my phone, that is on the lock screen or a noise or on the uh, badge app icon. But if you want to really find control these options, you can do it by just toggling off the options that you see here. So let's say that I don't want to see it on my lock screen, but I do want to see the badge app icon. This is the configuration that you would have. Or if I wanted to get a sound, but I didn't want to get any other visual representation, I could do it there as well. So what I actually want to do is get rid of all of them. So I'm going to make it easy. Just toggle off allow notifications at the top. This means I will no longer see notifications appearing on my badge, app, icon, lock screen, a noise, or anything else. That's what I like. When you're, when you're done, press the icon or the link at the top that says Twitter, settings, okay. Actually, at the very top left corner, you'll see a tiny little uh, arrow in Twitter. Just tap that, and you'll be sent back to your Twitter app. Press done, top right corner. Okay, so as you can see within the Twitter app, I'm still getting notifications. That's where the little bell is at the bottom of the screen and I can look at them. But once I go back to my home screen, the Twitter app icon here, I won't see any notifications showing up there. That's exactly what I want. If you want to learn more about how to tame notifications on Twitter, either in your email, on the web version of Twitter, or on the Twitter mobile app, Check out my book, Twitter in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.